Well, for, for a long time, uh, uh, mankind is trying to understand what are the con basic constituents of matter. So we know for many years that these are atoms and that we are made out of atoms. However, in the 40 or 50 years ago, people started thinking that maybe atoms are made out of some other particles as well, and that's indeed what happened. So the standard model actually predicts that uh, there are some elementary particles with made out uh, anything that we see in nature and classifies them in two. So one of them are matter particles and the other ones are force particles. The matter particles form the matter as we know and the force particles are responsible for the interactions that occur between matter particles. However, this standard model, when it was developed, it was very clear that there was a contradiction there. So these force particles, for example, were supposed not to have any mass. However, when we measure and when we look at some other prediction, it turns out that these particles have mass. So how do we explain the mass? And that's why we're the Higgs boson. Enter. So uh, Professor Higgs and Professor Englert and some other people realized that if there would be another kind of particle which was very different from these other two kinds of particles, then it would be possible to understand why the particles acquire mass. And a way of understanding that is that uh, uh, these, these Higgs bosons uh, are like a, like a molasse and a molasse in which other particles move. And so you have a particle which is supposed not to, be, not to have mass and moves in these, molas in these molasses, then it will act as if it had uh, mass. And uh, so when this was predicted that people started thinking, so let's try to see whether indeed these molasses exist, whether this six particle exist. And there was a huge effort, huge experimental effort that lasted more than 40 years in order to find these particles. And this effort was successful last year where indeed it was possible to discover, to, mas to measure and identify the properties of the Higgs bosons. And this is what been, has been awarded this year.